Hello awesome people, welcome to Parcel Creation video tutorial. If you are new here, consider subscribing so you won't miss other interesting video like this. And if you are old here, thank you very much for returning back. Without further ado, let's jump right in. So in the first place, we are going to learn how to create this same check flyer that I have done. So first of all, we are going to create a new document, control N, then we select 2000. 2500 by 2000 pixels. All right, then click on create. So a new canvas is going to open for us. And I'm going to take my paint bucket tool, click once on the document. So select that once on the document to fill that. And we are going to develop our background. So we have started already. So so I'll bring in my background to so control hold open and look for your image. So I'll open that and drop it into my new canvas. All right. Then when it's selected, I'll reduce the opacity to 50%. So let's say 50%. All right, so from here, control O again, and I'll bring in this nice water. Then I will also move that one here. Or what you can do is that you can go to file and select place embedded. So select that. Then when you select it, it's going to open in the same document for us. So it's going to place somewhere here. So you can position it also like how you want it. Then I'll reduce this opacity to 30. And that is going to be it. Then I can group all of this, control J and name this one as background. All right. So from here, I can place embedded to bring in my logo, reduce its size, then I'll bring present, so you can quickly type that, but before then, you see that my background is disturbing me, so I can select that and click on lock and right now there is nothing at the back which is going to disturb me again all right so from here we will bring our pasta in so i'll place embedded again Then reduce the size to fit the canvas. All right, so what you can do here is that you can add a layer max. Here is it, add a layer max, and you can pick up your brush tool. Shortcut is B, or you can find it here, brush tool. And then we can use the square brackets to increase or decrease the size and we can erase to fit the background, but mine is okay. Then from here, you position the image. Then select my test tool and type my test. So I'll start with G, the letter G. All right, so I'm going to use this test, which I will leave it here. You can download that. So here is the font name. You can check that one out, download and follow along. So from here, what we are going to do is that we are going to apply a test effect on that. So double click on the test to open the layer style property then 
we are going to select gradients and we are going to get this gradient and we are going to turn this gradient upside down so i can type negative so that it turns upside down then i'll add outer glow and i'll reduce the outer glow my this one is too harsh so let me reduce it reduce it so that it can be sharp okay and then i'll make it a little whiter all right so this one is okay then i'll add a drop shadow so the drop shadow i'll increase the opacity increase the size increase the distance then i'll drag it a bit something like this okay so angle 46 is okay then i'll reduce the opacity a little bit click on okay and i will duplicate the layer but before then i can click on this top arrow to hide the effects properties so you see that it helps you to be organized so i'll right click on that then i will duplicate the layer and i can drag that one so you see that the shadow that we created we can see the effect here so i can double click on it and change the text to l then let me push this one so that it cannot be of overlapping tests all right so this one is going to be the o this one is going to be the r and this one is going to be my y all right so this is the glory and i can increase the size bits like that all right so from here i can replace this o with I can replace this O with something like this, like a water falling down. So, so, so we have that as a preset in Photoshop. So, what we can do is that we can go to Window, then search for Shapes. But if you are using older version, you will go to shapes and you see this custom shapes when you select that and you scroll through you will see that so shapes and you see when you come here and you select the shapes you will see that from that so let me use here all right so from here under nature you can find this so i'll drag and drop that and you see i have this effect so i will select any of the shape tool then i can get the property and i will remove the stroke from that then i will change the fill color to white or white then i will reduce the size okay something like this looks fine then I can make a copy of the effect that I have on the glory. So example, I can hold Alt or Option on the Mac, then drag and drop into the shape. And you see that it's going to apply the same effect, but I don't want to so I'll turn up the visibility for the gradient and I'll get only the drop shadow and the outer glow. All right. So from here, I'll select the shape once again. 
Control J to make a duplicate, and I'll make that one a little larger. All right. So from here, I'll turn the visibility for this one off, but I'll hold down the Control and select that to make a selection around the shape for me. Then I'll select the R. So you see here is the R. Then I'll add a max to that. So you see that I have maxed and I can only see here. So control I to invert the max. And I'm going to get a shape like this. Then from here, control T for free transform and I'll reduce the size for the falling water or the drop water. And I'm going to get a shape like this. So this is what you can do to get a shape that I had earlier to get a shape that I had earlier all right so from here I'll continue with the next test select that make a copy of that then I'll turn the visibility for that gradient so that I'll get all white And quickly add my tests. Reduce the size to fit the situation. so basically this is how you can go about this same design so let me quickly copy and paste this once Go to File, Place Embedded, and let's add a Lens Flare. So this is how you can use your Lens Flare. Select that, drop it into Photoshop, then change the Blending Mode from Normal to Linear Dodge, and it is going to turn this way for you. So you place it where you want it to be. Then let me make a duplicate, place one here, then place one here. So this is how you can go about this same design using Adobe Photoshop. Thanks for watching. Check your screen, the two videos we pick for you to enjoy next. We love you.